Hello guys! Welcome again to my YouTube channel, May Fine Art. And today's vlog, guys, is also a very interesting topic that maybe you or your friend or anyone or your family member experience. So this is how to deal with bullies at work. So guys, maybe in your workplace, there are some people who are just annoying you or bullying you, right? And they will make your day just, you know, ruined. So guys, I will be giving you some 9 tips how to stop bullying at work. So guys, don't let your workplace bully win, okay? Here's how to handle bullying at work. So guys, bullying has become far too common in the workplace. Yes. Yes, indeed, in our modern time, even now, right? Taking the form of nonverbal, verbal, psychological, and physical abuse. Imagine also physical abuse. According to the Workplace Bullying Institute, so this is um, an organization they are conducting some research in America. 19% of adults, even in America, are bullied at work, while 60.3 million workers, that's a lot, right, are affected by workplace bullying. So, guys, isn't it a lot? So, so many people are suffering because of these bullies. It's not only just working but there also some mental torture if you will be with these people right so guys and if you think bullying only comes from those in a position of power like a manager or a boss think again in that same survey guys 25 percent of respondents said they have felt bullied by a peer or co-worker so it's in the same level so isn't it so sad so what makes me inter so interested about this topic because somehow I also felt that I am also a victim of bullying maybe not now but before and I find it difficult to you know to confront so I want also to for me and to share to others why it's very important to stop bullying at work or stop the bully at work so workplace bullying in a virtual world guys we are living in a new normal right that new normal means an increase in remote work for the first time and a blend of in office or in a remote workers for many companies so while some guys while some individuals enjoy working from home others might prefer the structure of being in the office more yes why let's see in either case workplace bullying increases work stress and takes the enjoyment out of work no matter where you're located Indeed. Guys, in this transition to a more remote workforce, it makes it challenging for employers to witness and monitor workplace bullying, enabling bullies to cause harm, right? It's easier to bully people, guys, when they don't have to see them face to face. Oh, daily working, daily working. <laughs> they hide behind instant messenger chats and texts. So somehow, yeah, it's also now, yeah, many, many workers were just be like, hey, come and with the text and this. Since many remote workers have a challenging time logging off from work at the end of the day, they have the chance to step away from the bullying to get a, a fresh perspective on how to handle it if they're the target. So examples of this remote and in office or in your workplace bullying they are messages containing sexist or discriminatory remarks and then if you're also in their social media guys they're also there adding you as a friend and embarrassing social media posts 
Yes. Threatening message messages or emails. Demeaning, belittling, or talking over someone during meetings or video calls. Yes. That is a really this one. Belittling. That means they, they really underestimate your capacity. They talk over you. There I think there's there is there's these people they're just so annoying. I have an experience and I really said can you please give me five minutes to finish all what I'm saying? Okay? And then afterwards it's all your floor. So sometimes it's good to put some confronting direct remarks for this kind of people. Micromanaging every detail of work on employed of him of the work which the employee does. So there are also people who like just to search for the f for the fault that you did like out of 100 good things you did she can really search for that one bad thing it's not really work related but mm, that's that's her, that's her character right but this is not really pleasing you know to the workplace it creates a very negative toxic workplace so and another thing guys spreading gossip or rumors about co-workers oh my gosh that is a very bad very 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 bad it seems they have the right to spread the gossip you know and it will really ruin the character of the person it's demoralizing so it's better to avoid this type of people taking credit for someone else work yes withholding necessary resources for someone to get their job done they will not help you guys or assist you because they are bullied yes yelling at the employee in front of the other employees yes gaslighting and making an employee second guess themselves yes they they will give you some you know that you will doubt your capacity that is very very sad so those are the characteristic or the things that bully do in the work floor you need to to see it from a distance and try to analyze the situation of your workplace workplace bullying can lead to health concerns and stress and low productivity at work and that's just the tip of the iceberg guys indeed you have to experience that oh my god i don't want to go to the work again to see this person who's always bullying me that is a problem that is a very sad situation that you're in right with that said it's important to take appropriate steps to handle bullying at work to support your well-being it's for your own mental emotional yeah those are important aspect of yourself that you need to be normalized right these people are putting you down so guys here are some suggestions to consider if you find yourself bullied at work or witnessing a bully okay so how to handle bullying at work so guys number one you need to research your company's policy mm -hmm. it is stated in the company's policy that bullying is not tolerated guys and gossiping is also not tolerated and so the other criminal actions like stealing using drugs during work or alcohol drinking alcohol during work so you need to be well prepared you need to know these policies if you're being bullied at work or know of someone who is, research your company's policies to determine the proper protocols to report such activity. Many organizations have a no-tolerance policy for such behavior, which includes reporting guidelines when being subject to or witnessing it. It is so important, guys, that you need to report it and there should be someone who can witness that it happened if your organization doesn't have a policy or the current policy needs updating to reflect remote work arrangements speak to your manager or 
human resource de department about putting a new company policy in place to protect employees from abuse. So you need to communicate from from this situation to your head or to your person um, human resource department. And second guys, take a beat. If you feel you're being bullied at work, take a breather to size up the situation. From a calm and grounded perspective, you can determine the best way to deal with the situation. Tip, keep in mind that people make mistakes. Take a moment to size up the situation and determine if the bullying was simply a one-time incident or something that will evolve into continued continued abuse and harassment. There is a difference when your workmate or your colleague will reprimand you, tell you this is wrong, this, or yeah, one time, two time. But if it's always done to make you embarrassed in front of the others, that is not okay. There is a professional way to confront a person not humiliating the person in front of the others right so guys number three take care of your well-being and mental health understandably many individuals guys are afraid to speak when they are being bullied mm -hmm. yes that's true they might be considered about what others will think and if the bully is their boss or someone in a position of power then one's livelihood is at stake they're scared that will lose that they will lose their work it's true but however bullying can have a negative impact on your overall well-being both mentally and physically take care of yourself by pulling resources together to support you a mental health professional or counselor is an excellent place to start to help you deal with the stress of bullying and come up with situations on how to handle it so in your workplace the human resource department usually have this counseling um, personnel to help you out with the problem and you need to you can also have a health professional or counselor outside your work but i tell you guys it's also kind of expensive right for example some people have burned out and they need a psychologist and something but isn't it worth to pay all those money because you have some mental stress because of this person i think not i mean you need to be mentally okay but this person should change or otherwise there will be a big problem right number four talk to your higher ups or your human resource if you're not comfortable speaking to the individual who is bullying you directly you might need to discuss it with your manager or human resources choose the course of action that feels best for you for your situation when addressing your concerns, guys, focus on negative impact on productivity, well-being, and moral while staying professional and calm. And number five, don't take it personally. While this is easier said than done, do your best to not take bullying personally. Yes, remember, when someone is bullying you, it's more about them than it is about you. Often, a bully is acting from a place of insecurity, jealousy, and or from a need to control. In fact, the targets of bullies are often high performers that do well at work. Practice having healthy emotional boundaries that keep you from reacting or feeling bad about yourself in workplace bullying, of course. And number six, address the issue directly and raise above of rise above this won't always be possible or comfortable but it is often best to speak up and stand your ground when communicating with a bully at the same time you want to be professional and take the high road take the higher ground and try to respond in a rational and professional manner 
there's no point in trying to beat a bully at your own game, as it will only add fuel to fire. Instead, address the conflict head on by letting them know in a non-accusatory tone how their actions are making you feel. So guys, here are the suggestions or the su uh, phrases suggesting how to deal with a work uh, bully or someone is not treating you appropriately. So you can say, please don't talk to me that way. Number one. Number two, let's try to get this conversation to a place where it can be productive. Number three, let's take a break and come back to this later. And number seven tip, guys, leave it, leave if it's not worth it. Your well-being and mental health are most important, and without it, you're no good to anyone. If you have done all you can to eliminate the bullying, but it's still occurring, then it might be the time to explore other options and leave the organization. Yes. It might uh, feel sad that yeah you need to leave your work. It might feel like the bully won won if this is the avenue you choose. But when you take care of yourself and leave a bad situation, you're the winner. Also, you want to know you're working for an organization that takes care of its employees and puts a stop to abusive behavior when it occurs. And number. Eight, document all of it. This bit of advice on how to handle bullying in the workplace is extremely important to remember. Always document everything related to your interactions with the bully. This not only provides a timeline of events, but it also helps you recall information more easily when needed. Save mail threads, take screenshots of text messages, and keep a log of the instances in which your colleague bullied you. Jot down the dates, the time, locations, and the names of any people who witnessed your co-worker bullying you firsthand. If you have the ability to record your video conference meetings, do so and hold on to the files, should you need to present them as evidence of your colleague bullying ways. So guys, a tip, if a bully is attempting to make you look bad or imply you're not doing your job, you can ask for written confirmation and details that they will have to own up to when question. Number 9. Consult with an attorney. Though states to have rules and regulations in place for bullying, it's not illegal. However, bullying that is also considered harassment is illegal. If you don't get resolution at work after going through all of the channels you work, you know to go through, you might want to speak to an attorney to discuss your options. Generally, this is a last resort due to cost and time required to pursue legal channels but could be worth it depending on your circumstances. So guys, those are some tips that I can share to you and for those who are victims of bullying, I hope you will stay strong guys to go on and to fight bullying in your workplace and to seek for some support and seek some help to combat bullying at work. At work. So take action to support yourself if you find yourself being impacted by a workplace bully and also when you speak up and take a stand for yourself it also empowers others to do the same because bully should not win okay so thank you so much guys for taking time to listen to this vlog i think this is a very important to empower us all to combat bully network so if you like this vlog please like comment and subscribe to my channel and um, don't forget to also um, yeah you can comment of course and you can also comment um, the next topic that you want me to share to you in my next vlog okay thank you so much for listening and have a great great day bye, -bye.
拜。